Today, we'll be going over some of the things that happened with Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch, a look at Roman and Seth's reunion, and the latest from Alexa Bliss. Let's start things off with the entire Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch situation. Liv Morgan earned her opportunity at Raw Women's Championship match a few weeks back during a fatal five-way match. It was a big moment because it was a fresh face in the title picture, and it was Liv's first ever title feud overall. The story has been great so far, with some of the callbacks and references that they were bringing up. One of those things being the goodbye that Becky and Liv shared back in May of 2020, when Becky was leaving WWE after her pregnancy announcement. Liv Morgan was the one that shared the private conversation, saying that Becky Lynch told Liv that she'll be a champion by the time she gets back from her pregnancy. That's a moment that keeps getting brought up during their feud here over the last few weeks. Liv admits that she didn't become a champion during all that time away for Becky Lynch. But things are different now compared to how it was back then. Liv is a new Liv, and Becky is a new Becky as well. They've both changed since that goodbye exchange that they had back in spring of 2020. Liv Morgan, the person, and Liv Morgan, the character, have both had to deal with traumatic losses of her best friend in WWE, Ruby Soho and Sarah Logan. Sarah was let go during the first round of WWE releases in 2020, and Ruby was recently released by WWE a handful of months ago. WWE acts like talent never existed in the company once they're released. But it's nice to see a character like Liv Morgan actually acknowledging the WWE releases and how it hurt her. It just adds more natural realism to the story because Liv isn't acting when she says that. She legitimately misses her friends. So a line like that is very easy for Liv Morgan, the individual, to translate over to Liv Morgan, the character. So let's take a look at the exact line that Liv used on Becky Lynch. She had this to say during Raw, quote, you're the reason why your friend Charlotte is gone, just like the reason why your big, fat, greedy contract is the reason why my friends are gone. How does it feel knowing you become everything you despise? End quote. So just some great dialogue there from Liv Morgan. She said that Becky and Charlotte fell apart because of Becky and she wants to find a way to tie that into Becky also being responsible for her friends. Ruby and Sarah are no longer around as well. Liv is implying that Becky has such a massive greedy contract that it forces WWE to take these budget cuts that result in the locker room losing talent. In reality, Becky Lynch isn't the problem for what WWE labels as budget cuts. If you look at the money they gave Tyson Fury a few years ago and the money that they continue to give guys like Goldberg and Brock Lesnar, that is millions upon millions of dollars from the budget right there. But for this storyline and for this moment itself, it made sense for Liv Morgan to call out Becky Lynch as if she's one of those massive Goldberg, Brock Lesnar type of deals. Liv received great reactions from her work. Even the great Tris Stratus watched the segment and loved this fiery version of Liv Morgan. There was actual story and depth here, on top of it already being a title match. So it does feel special and will catch some attention. It was then announced there would be a Team Liv vs Team Becky Lynch match later on in the show. It was a great hard hitting match that put the majority of the women's division on display. But the only issue with the match was its lack of purpose and zero stakes. Why was there a 5 on 5 tag team match? What purpose did it serve? There's no answer to those questions. Fans suggest that Team Liv versus Team Becky would have been a great idea for Survivor Series instead of Team Raw versus Team SmackDown, which is a good suggestion that would have been a nice break from the pointless Raw versus SmackDown matches. If there was something on the line, such as winning team captain picks the stipulation for the title match, that would have added a bit more purpose to that tag team match. But either way, Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch will have their title match in the coming days on Raw. And we'll see where that story goes from there. Will it continue on the day one event or will Liv's title feud end with this match on Raw? A very cool and interesting moment happened at the Long Island edition of Raw. 
Seth Rollins was walking up the ramp as Roman Reigns was coming down the ramp for the Bloodlines dark match after Raw ended. Fans caught several pictures and videos of Roman and Seth having a quick little stare down with each other before walking past each other. Everyone knows the history there between the two of them, so even having a brief moment like that is enough to really make fans go wild. Obviously, this didn't happen on TV, so it wasn't teasing anything or leading to anything significant, but it was still a very cool moment that live fans in the arena experienced. It is weird though because WWE spent a majority of 2021 lightly teasing the idea of Seth Rollins challenging Roman Reigns. Seth Rollins had a few run-ins with Jimmy and Jay, which led to Seth going to see Roman to squash everything, but said if Jimmy and Jay got into his business again, they'll be a problem. But there was never any follow-up to that segment. Then around early July, Seth Rollins did make the request to face Roman Reigns to Adam Pearce, but the title match was given to Edge instead, and that ignited the whole Seth and Edge feud. Then it felt like, okay, well, maybe Seth Rollins vs. Roman Reigns would happen later in the year. But then, Seth Rollins was drafted to Raw, officially ending all the speculation that the two of them would clash for the Universal title. So it is unfortunate that the match was teased all year long and then they went their separate ways on different brands. But maybe there's still hope to see that feud sometime down the line, especially if Roman is going to be champion for a while longer. The story with Seth Rollins will be interesting because Seth and Roman's characters are both extremely different and nearly unrecognizable compared to their former S.H.I.E.L.D. selves. So it'll be intriguing to see how Seth and Roman deal with the history between the two of them all while feuding for the Universal title. Alexa Bliss has been active on Twitter recently, especially during last week's Raw. Alexa Bliss quoted the tweet of Liv Morgan's promo to Becky Lynch and had this to say on Twitter, quote, Tell her live, hashtag go live, end quote. The reason why that simple tweet from Alexa gained some traction is of course because of all the fan theories of Alexa and Liv Morgan that are out there. Alexa has been on the main roster since 2016. Liv has been on the main roster since 2017. But you can probably count the amount of times they interacted on screen with each other on one hand. They barely work together with each other. They had a big moment during this year's Money in the Bank match, where Alexa pinned Liv in a corner and scared the life out of her. But besides that moment, they never really crossed paths. But fans have been waiting to see Alexa and Liv work together for the longest time. Some fans feel like Liv could be the perfect right hand for Alexa Bliss. Other fans feel like Liv would be a great fresh rival for Alexa since they've never really faced off each other. So, is there some deeper meaning to that tweet, and will they eventually clash at one point? That's what we'll have to wait on. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching guys!